Quads a really important exercise, but I feel like what people seem to mess up a lot on when it comes to like quad dominant training is how to utilize the machine properly. It's really easy to just do a little bit of a stance difference with squats. There's much you can do with your form, but you could do so many different things with machines, and that's what we're gonna go over today. Let's go right here, leg extension. Everyone's built completely different. The fact that every single one of you are different sizes, not one stance or foot placement is gonna be the same for everybody else. And everyone needs to remember that. One thing that I did wanna mention before we get into the form on everything, if you have a leg extension where the arm is on one side, it's one of the worst leg extensions you can have. Does anybody know why? Yeah. Talked about this a lot. It's out of balance. Exactly. Or it's bent. Have you ever felt like you're doing leg extension and one leg's getting a little bit more pumped? Maybe one's stretching more than the other? If you look down, you will actually see since the arm is on one side over the course of time, it will bend because this is the leverage point. Just get a uh, knee wrap, a uh, sweat towel, anything, and just put it under the side that's out in front. Leg extensions are really easy. It's about as quad dominant as you get. And the reason why people need to do this is because it's not bad for your knees as long as you do nice and controlled weight. If I rack that entire thing and jerk it up for three reps, it's probably gonna hurt my knees but if you do nice, slow and controlled movements, I have never been hurt in my entire 16 years of training by training the right way. Every time I've been hurt is doing way too much weight with shit form. When we get on this, uh, one of the biggest mistakes that you can do is not put your hands on the handles. They're there for a reason. So you might be getting too much weight and then your butt starts to come off just enough. I'm sure people have seen that. They'll sit there and put their hands on their quads the entire time. If the weight's light enough for you to do it, that's totally fine. But once you get a heavy enough weight that when you start to push, it starts lifting you up a little bit, that's when you pull yourself back down into it and contract all the way up. A lot of people seem to think that the big issue with this movement is the full contraction, and that's the most important part of this movement. It's a full contraction, which you can't achieve on anything else in quads, in a quad focused exercise. When you stand up on a squat, there's no tension anymore. When you stand up on a hack squat, there's no tension anymore. But when you completely contract up, on a leg extension, the same amount of weight that was on the full stretch is now at the full contraction. You'll never achieve this on any other leg exercise, so you need to use these as much as you can. But big thing that you don't want to do, you do not want to like bow your legs out like this. When your knees are pointed out and your legs are going straight up, it's going to cause problems with your knees. That is, I would honestly say that's every single person who's like, that's bad for your knees. I can show you in five seconds what you're doing wrong, and that's why you're having knee problems, right? So. General rule of thumb, knees are here, and you wanna make sure that your upper leg, lower leg, and toes are just completely lined up. Keep it nice and simple, right? All the way up, all the way down. All the way up, all the way down. Leg extension's really simple, but as long as you do certain things like that, and don't sit back and kinda do movements like this where you're rolling out, you'll transfer all the tension to different parts of your legs and not isolate. If you do a leg extension the right way, you'll feel it on the first rep. You should be able to squeeze your quads on a leg extension like you can ball your bicep up just flexing it for somebody. And that's what you need to work on in everything. How do you feel about different toe placements? You could do a little bit, but that's the same concept. So, so if, think of it like this. If my knees are pointing straight, but my toes are in, my knees didn't change. No tension is changing. I could freaking wrap these things around, but my knees are pointing straight up. It's when you actually turn your knees in or turn your knees slightly out. So you can do contraction work like that, but when you do that, your knees and joints are moving in an incorrect form. So that's where you're gonna have issues with knees. Backs and knees, sides, meniscus, all that stuff. So you wanna make sure you're not doing stuff like that. You don't wanna sit there and have your high heavy you know, set and be kicking your legs out to the side because that just felt weird. That stuff's okay, but it's like the tiny adjustments. It's like when I'm doing a wide grip barbell curl, I'm not grabbing out in like a snatch grip. I'm just going outside my shoulder width. You know what I mean? And that little bit is still gonna hit your entire muscle, not gonna tweak your arms and still get that good contraction. So if you wanna slightly point your knees out, you can go a little bit wider stance. Still feels good, right? I do these a lot, similar to like a cannonball squat, like here, shove my legs together as hard as possible and then just contract. That way you can put a little bit more emphasis here, but your knees are still pointing straight up. You don't want a wide stance like this and do that. Legs are going in all too many di directions, it's gonna mess you up. 